Hi, today I'm going to be demonstrating QPDF Notes. It's a, Q, it's a PDF viewer and markup tool for Android. I'm just going to open a PDF document. Uh, you can scroll through with the scroll view. I can zoom with my fingers and zoom out as well. Uh, double tapping will fit the documents to your page. Double tapping again will zoom in. Uh, you can mark up your document with the tools from the toolbar. Uh, you have things like shapes. Uh, you can add a note somewhere on your document. Uh, there's a highlight, underline, and strike through tool. And a um, free drawing tool. You can view any of the annotation properties by long pressing on it and clicking view properties. From there you can change the color of the annotation, you can add a fill color, adjust the border width, a transparency, and all annotations have a note or a contents where you can add something that the annotation is supposed to indicate. Um, in particular, you can use the free text annotation uh, whose contents will actually display on the page. And if you like with this annotation, you can turn the border width to zero, so it appears to just be new text on the page. Uh, QPF Notes also supports filling forms. I'm just going to open up a form right here. And you fill it by clicking on a field, entering your form value. and then pressing OK, and your form is filled. Also, this works for checkboxes, where you just click the checkbox. Um, for dropdowns, if I click a dropdown here, I can select any value. Uh, your filled form can be, along with any modified document, can be saved back to this file system. You see here, I can save it over the old file, or I can pick a new name for it. Also, also, I can conveniently send this file uh, to myself via email. I'm just going to go back here. Or um, integrates really nicely with other um, send applications, things like Dropbox, where I can send this to my Dropbox account. And you see it's uploading down here. And now I could go online on my PC or an other machine and access that file. Um, Dropbox also integrates really well from PDF from the actual Dropbox application. I can open my Dropbox app, open a document from Dropbox. You see it's downloading. If I open it with QPDF Notes, uh, make a modification to it, and click Save, it will actually go ahead and upload my modifications to my Dropbox, which is a really great synchronization tool. Um, also, all these toolbar options can be modified in your settings when you decide what should belong in your toolbar and what shouldn't to make it more convenient to find things. Uh, and also in your settings, you can set the, um, the defaults for your tool. You see my circle has this funky green color with a back black background, but I could turn the background off and turn on transparency or whatever I like and all future circles will be created with those defaults. Um, that's it for my demonstration today. Please check us out on the Amazon Marketplace, or I'm sorry, on Android Marketplace, uh, soon to be on Amazon Marketplace. And thank you very much.